everyone, this is a video tutorial on the Strecker synthesis. The Strecker synthesis is used to form an amino acid from an aldehyde. In this video, I just want to do an overview of what's happening. There is another video for the mechanism for this process. So if we take a look at the board here, we have our aldehyde. I want to mention that the R group on the aldehyde is really important because that R group, its identity will dictate which of the amino acids you're going to form. So if you wanted to make valine, you would just have to make sure that this R group matches the R group side chain on valine. So over here, if we take a look, we also have three steps to the process. The very first step is there to add this ammonia group onto this carbonyl position here. So this reaction will basically get rid of the carbonyl and add the ammonia on there. The second step is there to add the additional carbon. If you take a look, I only have one C listed in the aldehyde, but over here in our amino acid, there are two Cs. This second C is derived from this carbon in the cyanide. The very last step is going to be to basically get rid of that nitrogen and create the carboxylic acid group. So these are the three things that are happening in the Strecker synthesis for an amino acid, and that's pretty much what happens in the process. Okay. So now we know what the Strecker synthesis is, let's apply what we've learned to an actual example. So let's say you're given an example where you're given this aldehyde to begin with and you're told that these are the reagents and you need to pick, figure out what the product is. So what we're going to do is we remember that in the Strecker synthesis the R group does not change. So the first thing you want to do is identify in the aldehyde where the R is. So this here would be your R group, the entire thing. So what I'm going to do is take that R group and simply just translate it onto this side over here. Then what I know is that this whole group over here, all of these reagents are going to be used in order to convert this from an aldehyde into the amino acid tail. So what I do over here is just write out everything that happens. I know in the first step this carbon gets the end group put on it. In the second step we add an additional carbon, and in the third step we turn that carbon into a carboxylic acid. So now using the Strecker synthesis we can product predict pretty easily.